All right, welcome back, chat. You guys can be happy to know I've heard rumors that the Dark Lord is coming from the deeps to save us all from our mortal flesh. Woo, Cthulhu! Any day now. Uh oh. The hell is this place? Broken tooth, light colored enamel. The tooth of an adult male likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Shackles. Steel chain. The inside chain of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. What is... What are these people doing here? The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. I teach him how to read the language of Cthulhu. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. Hmm. Yes, I, uh... Every day I leave an offering to, um... The Dark Lord through the sewer system every day. A symbol of my undying loyalty. Hello, friend. Right. Hmm. Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten our chosen ones. Make sure he is present and that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trance will begin, and will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language, and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most skeptical members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance state through the emitted light waves of Kali's lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of Chosen. Make sure, make room for them as you have done before. R. Uh, the fellow friend lady asked about Prime subs. Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything about Prime subs. Is that a new thing? I don't know what those are. Is that a bill? Bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. Do They They will arrive with two, within two weeks. Do not fail us, eh? Okay. The new method of last at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10. The failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nonetheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of their native language or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently despite lacking all mental autonomy. Regrettably, one of the chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in the strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only in, ignited anger, and even when the direct removal of the frontal and temporal lobes, it seems all was left with an innate desire to resist. This chosen one cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. I will see to it they are sent to the well. The well? What well? Looks as if it's been recently used. Put the thing on there. Yeah, we're gonna 
Prime Gaming will serve the Dark One. Offer up your Prime Gaming by clicking the sub button. Give it upon the Dark Lord your Amazon Prime subscription. Link it to thy Twitch account. Once a month you get a token to spend to get free emotes to the streamer of your choice. Click the sub now. Thank you, O oh Dark Lord, for thy gifts. Oh, God. What happened? I, oh. Uh... Rage 1984 and then Gold Standard. Thank you for Prime Gaming sub for the Dark uh, for me. Uh, Glenn 177. Thank you for the Prime Gaming sub as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. More of the birds. Why? A very professional brain dissection. What? Why would you do it on birds though? Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. But why? What would be the point? See <laughs> needle, dynamo. Missing something here. It does look fun. No, I definitely would not want to be hooked up to one of these things. Can't find the last thing to click on. Thank you, Apollo Baker, Kano Bear, Lord Cranicle, A Kick. Thank you so much for serving the Dark Lord. Appreciate that. Thank you for summon the Eternal Enlightenment. Oh, well, oh, there. Jeez. Full grain leather straps. Impossible to escape. Why, though? What do they have to gain by all this hmm. let's go open the door back here first So they ship in people that are quote unquote chosen ones, and then they make them listen to these recordings again and again and again until all they can do is repeat it. And she must give them surgery to help it along. So they, all they could do is do the chant and then go into the trance for days on end. Oh, here's the well, how lovely. Ugh. Oh, the spell. Ugh. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Great. Dear oh. God, is that body parts? That's a Coffee smelly, dank hole. Ugh. Woo, smells like rot. So that's not um good. So they're murdering people on top of everything else. Okay, great. Add another awful thing to the list. Huh. Key found on the desk in the sub basement. I 
can't open any of those cages, even though it looks like I should be able to. They look interactable. Sable Divinity, thank you for 10 gift subs. Your sacrifice will be noted. Thank you for your gift. May the eternal darkness shine your path. Get out of my head! Your iron fist is devoid of soul. Find reverence for the one that trembles. Lord, cleft your soul, splinter your soul, and become a servant of madness. Please, no more. Stop it. Watson, John, somebody. Wretched mortal, do not fear what is to come. Let him rupture our world anew. Awaken. And let the world behold! The light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Get out of my head! What in the actual hell is happening? They come in here and chant and chant and chant and chant. Where'd the guy go? Or was he ever there in the first place? Um. He must never have been there at all. So oh, I'm losing my mind. Good. Yay. Who needs that? Uh oh. Wait, what? A hydraulic elevator? How ingenious. Those look in her. It looks like I should be able to talk to them. But I can't get in there. It's sealed tight. I can't exit the same way. Oh, praise the Cthulhu. Watson? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I am fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered, on my way. What? What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Let me think. Um. Uh oh, Heidi's in here. Heidi, how did she? It end up here. Why is Heidi in here? Well, she never saw the point until the very end. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. <laughs> 
the patients here wear the same robes. We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next. She must have a... She must have something written down. Well, I think I've figured out what happened. She is dead. I think I fi figured out what happened. She's dead. And I think the pencil in her brain might have something to do with it. I... Genius of deduction. Is um I'm not seeing anything to interact with. Nothing else in her desk. Can I leave? I had nothing to do with this, Holmes, I swear it. <laughs> That's exactly what you would say if you had something to do with it. I don't know if I believe you. I mean, she was evil, but you, you know, you shouldn't just stab a lady, Holm, uh, Watson. Kind of rude. Hmm. I don't see any interactions in this room. A dead body was the last thing I expected to find in this office. Oh, maybe it's... Okay, it must be in here. Where does the evidence lead? Okay, um... New, New Orleans Bank. Must be something about New Orleans. New Orleans, again. Handwritten letter... And then New Orleans, handwritten letter. Something about New Orleans. Thank you, Jimmerus. Praxis Pasta, what a dude. Thank you for those resubs, guys. I give claps to the followers in chat. Thank you. Serpius evidence now points to New Orleans. Appears that the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of EW Gray to sell gems. We're going to New Orleans. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. He's not much of a joker, is he? It's too literal. There's nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve, and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London, report what we have discovered, let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. 
We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. Chapter 4 The Outsiders New Orleans Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over, and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it! Hey! You, our luggage! Damn it! Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. It, it was an accident. Freaking semen. Chopping it all over the dock. Come on, sir. Ah, oh, not an auspicious start, is it? Never mind. I'll handle it. Uh. You go on ahead. Sir. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just put everything back. Uh, where are the socks? You're lucky nothing fell through the cracks or did it. Ah, <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> Hello there. I can't believe I don't know where we're going. The nymph of Louisiana. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. Where are you at, gentlemen? Here to enjoy yourselves? Uh, no. Um. Not. Uh, we're here on business, madam. Sorry, I can't employ your, um, services. Just an honest business woman providing a service to those who need it. <gasps> Doggy. Black opals being auctioned at the banking house of E. W. Gray. Well, we are here to look for some gems. The train is huge. Oh my! These carriages. Harbor Master's office. Hello. All oh, newspapers. Used to be how people would get all their news. Not so much anymore. Everything's digital now. Where am I going? I have no idea. Um, find piece of evidence. There's post promoting auction at Banking House EW Gray that will sell opals. Is this familiar to you? My dear fella, you're not talking to the rap man. Well, thank you, sir. Maybe found on the street the, on the port on the left side of the Harbor Master opposite, opposite Chinatown. <laughs> opposite Chinatown. <laughs> Gotta find Chinatown. Police department. Hi, horsey. My, 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 I do declare. I see Dan Chad over there. Um, very big level, not much is here, though. There's Chinatown, so there's the banking house. 
Let's mark Chinatown on our map, though. Chinatown. And... Yeah, this game looks very pretty. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Um, I... Yeah, that's me. Squints, here's my opa. Uh, tabloid paper, Abe Lincoln alive. <laughs> oh my god, tabloids. Something in the pocket, a sandwich maybe? Um, the guards at the bank's real character st storing a sandwich in his pocket while reading Abe Lincoln alive makes the guard paranoid fool with a bad with bad taste. Besides, the man has myopa. Yeah, I'm Frank Barnaby. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Uh, Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Shit. <laughs> I have to have a written inv- Holmes, over here. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And you think Mr. Barnaby would be happy to share his invitation? Who the hell's Frank Barnaby? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Sir, do you know Frank Barnaby? Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, I've heard talk. Logos say he owns a shop in Chinatown called Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Thank you. Let's look for Barnaby's Hidden Gems. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. More like Indeed, a town, but yeah. Those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we have been transported to the Orient itself. Um, where is this guy's gym shop? Giddy Gator Bar. Gun store. Yeah, it's America, all right. <laughs> um. Gator bar. This place is a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. <laughs> Creole quarter. I need to go back, though. Wait, what was that? There's someone there. Uh, Rafa Zazatsu Arante. For experience to commit tax fraud via necromancy. What? Necromancy? Reward 10 acres of land and a farm. Look, Watson. What have we here? A local crime star. A star? You have a strange way with words. Frankly, we have more pressing matters. I'm not going after these troublemakers, but the posters will add nicely to my collection of criminal profiles. I read a study that suggests facial features can determine a person's tendency towards cruelty or deviant behavior. Well, you can't stop progress. Um, no. Wanted, Stan Lord Smith for piracy. Uh, reward as much gold as the want wanted ways. Stan Smith. Oh, was this game on Kickstarter? Because that might explain these wanted posters. Blackwood Marsh Canyon Factory. Barnaby's Hidden Gems. Here we go. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Not much in there. Damn. He at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. Locked. No one's here. Are you? Do you know anything about this? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I'll help you. 
two gentlemen say that Barnaby owes them money. He's a known alcoholic, currently getting drunk at a local bar called Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. He's recognized by a yellow hat and green jacket. Oh, we were just there. Let's go find him. Yellow hat, green jacket. Green jacket. Oh, hello, Barnaby. sir. Unconscious, but with his eyes open. Uh, Mr. Barnaby, the bank counts of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. Please to present a select, a rare, and extraordinary black apples for sale. Please contact your employee to receive more information. Strongly urge you to wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more unwilling, unacceptable incident will exclude you from our list of buyers. Well. Definitely him. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. <laughs> Eureka. <laughs> what have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. Let's grab his clothes. Holmes. We're going to dress you Watson, up, Watson. Time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes has a lot of Holmes rings around his really eyes. really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Well, let's go and, um, go to the auction. Where's my cash, Frank? Why? In a bartender's tip jar? Why would someone wear this jacket and that hat? They just don't seem to go very well together. I don't like that outfit. I would never choose this. Where's the money, bothers Barnaby? Me. You get your damn money oh, wait here, later. So as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are, shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the job. I'm fine. I, uh, fine. I'm, Very fine. I, I, I'm in a rush. Oh, come on in. Sorry. Heavens, i never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. Oh my god, those opals are massive. Black opal, origin Australia, weight 40 carats, rarest stone, believed to be a piece of shattered space rock that fell to Earth. <gasps> space rock. Eldritch Lords? Cthulhu. They're from space. Those are very pretty. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. No. No pass. Um. They're so black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Those are beautiful rocks. I know. Exciting, ain't it? I'll be right with you. Serve me right now! Feel free to look around while I finish up. Damn it! I'm nearly done, sir. Have you got acquainted with our lots? Don't make me rage. The bank house at E.W. Gray will be closed for, uh, for a closed auction of black opals. The bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rare stones, however. Bank clerk Mrs. Zoe Clemens has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. Bank holds an auction. Just some money sitting there. That's strange. I'm nearly done, sir. Have you got acquainted with our lots? I'm I'm trying. Is there something I missed? Mm. Oh wait, what? This might be useful. I'll make a note. The banking uh, house that we do a great thanks to a fine philanthropist. Armage Dilliard, Arniston French Quarter, 
Addison St. Walker, Carter French Quarter, Chambers Machild, Clement St. Thomas, Engel Fillmore, Hartness, Fabar McGurney, Howlett Lakeview. Hmm. Make sure I got all of the loots. Hi there. Morning, sir, and welcome to the EW Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. Forgive my curiosity, but... Who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. That's sus. Are they stolen? It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never... How dare you? I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens. A philanthropist, no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager... You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> Didn't think you'd sober up for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business I'm opportunity. I'm British now, too. An important business opportunity. <laughs> what have you done with the real Barnaby? <laughs> well, maybe I'm drunker than I thought, mister. Mister? What's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Large wool hat oversized. This man's all hat and all cattle. Sheriff. Sheriff Grub. Position of power. Golden revolver champion. Proud poser. Cares for appearance, luxurious textile. Polished nails, fashionable or hates getting dirty. Fashionable menace. Sheriff Grubb is the law in New Orleans. He is fairly eccentric, looking after his nails, appearance, and image. However, it's just the cover for his true nature as a remorseless and highly powerful individual in the local community. Uses his image to distract and disguise his true nature. Of course I know you, Sheriff. Good. Now, while I have you, there's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you know what we do to weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The people of this parish deserve peace. They don't take kindly to visitors. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. How did you knew who I was, you piece of... Damn it. Don't like him. That's it. This this town gets one star. Aggressive police force who brought who like shakes people down. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. You're penniless, Hysteria Watson. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. 
I what? shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. You're an asshole. You know, I think the look actually compliments you. Why bother changing it? Stuff it, Holmes. Such an asshole. I went through a harrowing ordeal, lost all my money, and he's just sitting there being an asshole. Is my luggage fine? Ma'am, your uh, skirt's glitching. Yeah, okay. That's normal. Well, hopefully our stuff is still here. No, no. Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it back in order. What? My luggage? It... Oh my God, they threw it overboard. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. You piece of shit. Oh, bollocks, now our clothes are in the blooming water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? John, I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, uh. I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. Oh, <laughs> you got yourself in a fine pickle. All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barnaby is proving rather useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the sheriff. Oh. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Uh. Uh, go annoy someone else while I visit the Nymph. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Always a pleasure to see you regular, Mr. Barnaby. Oh, hello, Welcome ladies. Home. Rooms available. Rooms? What would you need rooms for on this boat of... people that are just working? Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. Thank you, ma'am. Playing as Watson for a oh, long time. Forgive me, well. Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, now we're playing as Sherlock again. Oh my god, they were referencing his drug use, wasn't he? <laughs> oh no. Pianos and organs? Is that like a music shop and a uh, doctor's office? Hmm. Dry goods, general store. Oh, wait, wait. It was. Logan would call champagne, is everything that help us? Liz works behind the fishman's quarter. Behind the Creole Quarter. It's probably this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
May I ask for your assistance? Oh, I've heard talk. You'll say that Spain lives in the Frischman's Quarter in a hut on a boat. She owns two dogs. A hut on a boat. I need to get to the water. Fisherman's Quarter. And a hut on a boat. So. <laughs> The hut on a boat is this doggies. Tocqueville, Lafayette. Hush now. No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents, especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> crocodile? Some other time, perhaps. Word has it you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe, maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sure. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time you pay. Thank you. May have been one, two weeks ago. Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. It's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of you know what. Thank you for the offer and the help. Thank you, ma'am. I love your dogs. Careful. Nolans may look welcoming. But not every smile is friendly. True. I feel much better in this suit, even if it is not. Uh, shared some information about the Black Opal Trader. He's a rich man from the French Quarter. Nine. Let's see if anyone knows where he is. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You okay? Are you all right, sir? It'll come again. I will. I will die. What happened? The lower of death came to me last night. I know it will come again. Let's start from the beginning. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Could you describe last night's events for me? Uh, I'm Cole Seabrook. It was my mom, Brigitte. She came to me in the shape of a giant black rooster. Before that, some hit the wall outside. Then she came in. She took my will and she led me to the water. Perhaps you were dreaming? I wish I was. The great gator was there. It called me and I couldn't resist, but then the spell broke and I managed to crawl ashore. Interesting. I know how it sounds to an outsider, but it was the lower of death and it ain't finished with me. You mentioned a lower. What is that exactly? You outsiders only know one god. But there are many, and we call them lowers. And Mammon Brigitte is one of them. She is the lower of death and life. She heals the righteous and punishes the guilty. Did you feel anything apart from fear last night? Yeah. The signs of Mammon's presence, no doubt about it. Everything became blurry, and my mouth was dry, and, and the light became very bright. That is something. He dropped a cup here. Was there something? Supper leftovers. You even cut up your carrot, sir? Um... It's not a simple tea. A herbal concoction, rather. Huh. Black tea seems not to be very popular here. Could have accidentally gotten a little drugged on something. Some chewing tobacco leaves. Cheap and strong brew. Hmm. Judging by the facial features, Cole and one of his relatives. 
with William in Shreveport, 1879. Why do I hear an alligator? Like, very loudly. This one is almost odorless. Green leaves. Interesting. Yellow with pointed leaves. It smells sweet. Large take white it just flowers. in case. I would love to learn more about these. The healing properties of some herbs are truly amazing herbs. Mix the apple proportion, golden rod, strawberry leaves, jasmine flowers. And some are extremely dangerous. Cold ground herbs here. So he made an herb concoction. Drank it. Are you a good fisherman, Cole? I wouldn't say so, sir. Okay. All right, well, let's see here. Blurred vision, dry mouth, and photo photophobia. Double check. So first option is <gasps> he was scared and then dropped his thing. It's not consistent though. Try again. Eating his supper. Yeah, that's what happened. And then <gasps> scared. Dropped the mug right there with this giant black. Rooster that came in. Ooh, there's some footprints. There too many imprints here. It's hard to say where he did or didn't go. The black feather. A feather. Not black, however. Did you really expect to find the feather of rock here? Unstable. He was Four unstable. Blueprints here. Handprint, he crawled into the water. He backed out of the water. He chased a bird, but it wasn't what he thought it was. First one is incorrect. This one. So there was no bird. There never was a bird. He was just hallucinating the whole time. Cole was having dinner. He was alone. The herbal decoction started to affect him. He became dizzy and dropped the cup. Hallucinations and stimulation brought him outside drowned if not for the sobering effects of the cold water. Failed meeting with spirits. Cole! Sir? I must ask you, did you have a drink last night? No, sir, I didn't take a sip. It all happened before I went to bed and... I only drink to fall asleep. That's just how it is lately. Cole, I am sure that you were alone last night. The Lowers were not with you. Well, what else could you say? I didn't say that I disbelieve you. I'm wondering about this recipe. It's just herbal tea. I went to Mr. Sam D and he gave me the recipe to help calm my heart. Is he a doctor? He is a voodooist. It was risky, but all I wanted was some sleep. Where can oh. I find him? On the side of the church at one of the entrances to the fisherman's quarter, look for a Veve sign. But watch what you see. He has the power of voodoo. Oh no. Be careful. Not the voodoo. I'll have to watch out. I wonder if he makes graphics cards. Whatever happened to voodoo graphics cards? They were like a big thing in the 90s and early 2000s when they kind of just went poof, gone.
Oh, did NVIDIA buy them out? Well, that's, that's how you get rid of competition. You buy them. Or if someone keeps making something better than you, you just buy them out. Like Disney with Pixel, with Pixel, uh, Pixar and Marvel and Star Wars. Yeah, we made these. These are ours now. We, we, this, these are ours. See, we made Star Wars and Toy Story. That's us. We did that. Dear Mr. Holmes, I knew you would, that, I knew that when you heard about voodoo, you would be immediately skeptical. This world is not what it seems. I find it strange that in your journey, you are still in disbelief. I'm sorry that I won't be there when you come for me. I would love to help you open your eyes. Presume you wanted to ask me about the recipe you found at Cole's house, knowing of his tragedy. Told him to brew an infusion from these herbs. The effects of fusion are solace and mollification. If you don't believe me, read the book. There are the answers you seek. May the spirits be with you, Mr. Holmes. Samadhi. P.S. How do you find what you're seeking? Please return the tome. Some books can do bad things if they fall in the wrong hands. Um, right. A thick book filled with right spirits and symbols. A significant part of the book devoted to various herbs, their descriptions, and their properties. Why would he have that there? At least the weather is on our side. Maybe if I brew the herbs myself? Can I make the red? No. Oh, no two ways of body. Nope. Who's the jeweler seller A? like Mr. E. Arneson who lives in the French Quarter. Uh, let's see. A bunch of green trifoliate leaves. One and a half, two dozen inches diameter. When squeezed, possibly smell slight sour odor. Uh... How much? Uh, one and a half to two and a half inches. Leaf form. Trifoliate leaves. Smell sour. Strawberry leaves are effective remedy to improve appetite. Normally, I suggest process teas and infusions with strawberry leaves. Positive effect on the work of the blood heart of the heart and help lower blood pressure. They have a mild anesthetic effect. Um, yellow flowers, less than an inch in diameter. Yellow flowers, single leaf, pointed leaf. Wing Pitol. Yellow Flowers. Goldenrod. Perennial herbaceous plant. Goldenrod. Strong diuretic effect. Used for ingestion. Ruminisms. Has general anti-inflammatory properties. And then this one. Several large white flowers. Four to six inches. Fragrant flowers are trumpet shaped. A strong sweet odor white flowers 
Jimson weed, known as Devil Snare, potent poisonous plant case of po case of poisoning. Jimson weed causes dry mouth, speech, and swallowing disorders, dilated pupils, impaired uh, near vision, fear of light, delirium, hallucination, and agitation. Severe poisoning is characterized by loss of orientation and sharp smell of arousal. Well, that he poisoned himself. He got the wrong plant. Oops. He did not get jasmine flowers. He got jimson weed. Oopsie. That'll do it. Sir? Cole, where are these herbs from? I bought them from Zora. Her stall is at the market near the port. Oh, really? She sold you the raw... She... She sold you poison instead of a helpful uh, herb. Oh, she's gonna be in trouble. Market near the port. Yeah, if you sell someone like the wrong thing entirely, it's bad. Wait, is that me? Ryan Gazebo Kelly, still an overcoat, pair of socks, light to supply of beer. Wait a minute, let's see. Oh my god, there was a there was a Kickstarter for this game. And so all these wanted posters and stuff are people that funded the game. That's what that is. I'm gonna be in the next game and I'm gonna do the Kickstarter and get my picture in the game, damn it. I wanna be in a game. I need the herb merchant. Market near the port. Looks like a market here, possibly. Help me, please. Don't be angry with me, sir. I don't know. I'm sorry. You're just trying to sell your clocks? French market. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I bet Zora will kill her. Did you see Ashley rush there? Fearsome woman. Yeah, Tried I'm golden rod. For Chinese and for anyone who misses with Tobacco her. leaves. Strawberry leaves. Hopefully we won't stumble upon the sheriff. Help me, please. I'm bone tired. But yeah, I help you. Sora went to Chinatown Mark. She's wanted to start a fight. Uh Wanted to start a fight with another merchant there. Sora's known for her quarrelsome temper. However, for the last few days, she's been unusually aggressive. All right, let me go find her. Baloney farts and quick kick. Thank you for those resubs, guys. <laughs> Every time you see baloney farts re resub, I'm like, wait a minute. Is that the right name? Oh, no, yes, it is. Are oh, these herbs fresh? And you dare call my products of standard? Excuse me, ma'am. Products of standard. Ma'am. I am. What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have several questions, if you don't mind. I came here because Cole Seabrook mentioned you. Do you know him? Unfortunately, yeah. He's my late husband's brother. You are selling herbs, is that right? Do you want to buy something? Not really. No. I wanted to ask if you have the herbs from this list. Goldenrod, jasmine, strawberry. These are very common. I do sell them same as any other herb merchant. Have you heard of jimson weed? A poisonous plant, but it can help ease the pain if you know how to use it. Some believe you can use it to create a zombie. A willless slave. What? Is that what you wanted for Cole? Or did you sell it accidentally? 
Did Cole get what he deserved? <laughs> the Lois heard my prayers. So you admit it was on purpose? I admit there's a higher power maintaining order and justice in this world, and Cole got what he deserved. I'm happy that it happened, but that doesn't mean I'm to blame. Can I ask what caused such hatred? The Sheriff confiscated all our weapons, and then the disappearance began. William wanted one raffle, just one, to protect us. Cole was too eager to help, and as a result, my will got a bullet in his chest. How did Cole explain what took place? He just walked away as if nothing happened. Cole is the reason I lost my husband, and he should pay for it. Don't you want to know what really happened? For me, it's clear. An innocent man would tell everything. Only the guilty remain silent. Uh, okay. With William, back segment photos, brother. Cole's brother, William, died recently trying to retrieve the rifle that Sheriff Conscott earlier. Think about William got a bolt in his chest. Uh, let me go guess talk to that guy again? I don't know why you'd blame him, but okay. Our logic seems kind of sus, but whatever. Well, let's go chat with the guy again about his her brother. So she purposely gave him the wrong weed, though, which was poison. He could have died. So she did do attempted murder. So she is going to probably go to jail. There's a crocodile right there, just chilling. Excuse me, just one question. No, I not heard about that. Sorry. Sir? I've learned about your tragedy, Cole. My condolences. Zora told you, didn't she? Can you tell me what happened and why you feel guilty? My brother died. I'm alive, and William is not. That's why. Did you see who shot him? It was the bloody sheriff. I swear I saw him smiling. That son of a bitch. Tell me, what was the plan? William had to get into the warehouse through the eastern gate, the one not far from the market on the edge of the railroad. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. So what went wrong? William went in, then came back with a rifle. I saw him jump off the crate and then bang! He was lying there dead. What happened next? My heart stopped. I froze. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. I ran away. I had just one task, and I failed it. And for my mistake, the lower of death will come for me. Mm -hmm. Let me go talk to the lady again. Eastern Gates where is in the market. Eastern gates of the warehouse near the market. The corner close to the railroad. Cole was hiding behind the barrels. Closest to the warehouse. Oh, here. Chew leaves tobacco. Chew tobacco. That's the spot. I hid behind the barrels. I was on the lookout. I see you were hiding here, yeah. And then... Handprint oil. An oily handprint. The substance has solidified. I assume that this is cosmoline with which the gun was lubricated. William went in, then came back with a rifle. Oh, I see blood here. Went right through the bullet. William was shot here. I saw him jump off the crane and then bang. He was lying there dead. The bullet went through him, and based on its velocity and mass, I would say the shooter was no more than 35 or 40 feet away. 
This lamp did not leave William a chance to go unnoticed. Why would you run in front of the lamp, William? Damn sheriff. The sheriff stood here. Cole had no chance to spot him approaching. It's a terrible choice of position, and it cost his brother his life. Then the sheriff yelled, see if there are more rats. And I woke up. And what did Cole do? Cole must have ran. Panicked, froze. My heart stopped. I froze. And then he ran. Cole sought safety in flight. Now I see why Cole thinks he deserved it. He simply left his brother behind. He did not have much of an option. Sad. I think Zora would like to know about this. Well, let's tell her. Find out where she is first. Is she back over here or back in the... Yeah, there oh. she is. What do you want? Mom, I spoke with Cole about your husband and went to the warehouse to inspect it. I cannot say that either he or your late husband were innocent. They both decided to steal. How dare you? My William only wanted to protect us. The same as Cole did. However, I know the man responsible for William's death. It is the sheriff. That jackal. Anyway, don't expect words of gratitude from me, Mr. Holmes. Your truth changes nothing. Why can't you be a little bit nice? Yeah. Can't you be slightly nice? I won't promise to forgive Cole. Well, let me go chat with the other guy one more time. Well, I'm gonna send you my fee for investigating this crime. It'd be 10,000 US dollars. Thank you. Payable by uh, Sunday. Have a good day, ma'am. Sir? I have good news. No lowers are coming for you. You were poisoned. Wh what? Zora sold you Jimson weed instead of Jasmine. That was the cause of your hallucination. She wanted revenge. It, it doesn't change anything. Look, the lowers were guiding her. I deserved it. I went to the warehouse, and I know what happened. You are guilty of a poorly chosen observation point, but not of William's death. Your only choice was to run or die with him. But that's what I should have done. I should have died with my brother. No. The quarter doesn't need another wretched man. You must keep living for your brother's sake. But how Zora looked at me, I have no right to move on after what happened. She might not be ready to forgive yet, but don't give up. You can only earn Zora's forgiveness by being alive. That's not as easy as it sounds. Don't waste the life you have on something that can't be undone. Quest complete. Wait, I unlocked a new outfit? I thought it said magician's hat. Oh, you can't change clothes here. Oh, darn. Well, never mind. Well, we did solve the main quest. We did go to the French Quarter and talk to E. Arniston. Somewhere over in the French Quarter. Nice and wrap up nicely with the boat. Consequences matter, which is nice. Yeah. We solved the case. No clear winners or losers, but we just solved what happened. But just facts. French Quarter is... Arbor Master, Chinatown, Creole Quarter. Maybe we talk to that lady again? She said she could take us to the French Quarter, so we'll go chat with her and see if we can go find him. So many crocodiles around here. But people will die all the time at the crocs. You can look at my dogs, but don't touch them. What? That's not nice. 
You don't have to feel sorry for me. May I ask for your assistance? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Pass by chess using cab near the harbor quarter master building to travel to the French Quarter. Okay. Well, thank you. So let's go take a cab. Hello, sir. Got a spot in mind. French Quarter and get us there fast. The New World. Arnoldson's Mansion. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. 